Bonjour and welcome to my channel. As you probably know it, I bought a brand new K40. If you want to know more about the unboxing and the setup I made, you can check the link in the upper right part of the screen. I already used the machine a couple of times and I noticed that the water that is supposed to cool down the laser beam uh, becomes a little bit warm and I'm, I was a little bit nervous so I made researches and found something. Let me show you. After a while searching about the subject I found this website. The top two reasons why the laser tube dies. One of them is overpowering the tube and the other one is overheating the tube. As you can see here the laser seems to be working best at a temperature around 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. Anything above the, this temperature will degrade the tube. So it's mandatory to find a way to monitor the temperature of the water cooling the laser. That's what I found. First thing I made, I searched on the internet to find a water temperature sensor. Okay, let's check. Uh, we have one here, $37. Hmm. Let's see what we have. $9. It's quite cheap. Wait a minute. I can build one. Let's go back to the laser. So, what I need is build a temperature sensor with a probe that goes inside the water bucket and with a display that I will set up right here. Let's do this. First, I already had this sensor, a DS18820, which is a three-wire sensor, very easy to connect. I designed a prototype that is working. Now, let's check the electronic circuit. This is a circuit, very simple. There is the OLED display connected to the Arduino Mini Pro. I have the sensor with the resistor pulling up to 5 volts and the power jack with the 10 microfarad capacitor. Now for the circuit, you see the OLED display in the center of the board. The Arduino Mini Pro is behind the circuit and the power jack is on the side. So let's build this device. The first step is to stick the uh, PCB on my CNC. Then I probe the surface and after the probing is finished, I start cutting. The cut took about 15 minutes. Once the cut is finished, I have to drill all the holes. Et voilà! This is the final board. Let's solder the components on it. Let's take a moment to test if everything is still working. Oh, it boots up correctly. Now let's check the sensor. It works! Okay, now let's build the, the enclosure. After a few hours of printing, this is the final enclosure. 
it's time to place all the components inside the enclosure. And do a final test. It looks good. Okay, now let's install the probe. I put the probe inside the water bucket and set up the display right here. If I power up all the system, I can read the temperature of the water which is at 14 degrees Celsius. And let's say I use the laser for a while, the temperature may rise and if I want to lower it, what I do is I put a frozen bottle of water inside the water bucket. So this is about it for the project. It took me about half a day to get this device complete and fully functional. So instead of buying, you know, I like to build it. Now I can keep an eye on the temperature of the cooling water. But this is the end. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I inspire you and see you next time. Bye.